Alright, so I've got my pulley system set up here. Got it hooked to the bike, hooked to the tree, pulley in the middle. Got a pulley right here and a pulley right here. I got these at Ace Hardware. Well, not Ace Hardware, but you know, one of those hardware. Before we get back to the live action in the woods, I bet some of you would like to see what I am talking about when I say my pulley system. So, here's what it looks like in my backpack. What are you going to do? Well, if you're like me, hopefully, you have your survival bracelet, which is supposed to be in your backpack. Speaking of which, this is a fly convertible. The chest protector, the shoulder protection, and a backpack, all integrated into one. Love it! Got it on eBay! So, what do you have in your backpack, right, Matt? Well, I've got some ratchet straps. You've got another ratchet strap that I keep in my... And there's a dog in the way. <laughs> well, let's see here. I got this rope. You're like a clown. Well, what about simple machines? Not fishing line. No, that's helpful too, but... Aha! Look at that. Those are pulleys. As you know how the simple machines work, I've got to pull twice the length, actually four times the length. If I want this to move one inch, I've got to, if I want the bike to move one inch, I've got to move the pulley four inches. But it reduces the weight dramatically. Instead of pulling 250 pounds, I should be holding, pulling around 50. So, oh, I'm going to put my gloves on. Probably going to need my gloves for this. Now, by no means is this easy, but it's easier than trying to lift that bike. And the biggest thing I'm noticing is that this is really good for braking. So you struggle with it up, and then you fall, like normally, gravity would just pull it backwards. So now if I get it up, the pulley system holds it. So that's the biggest difference. Another nice difference is that I can tie it off and take a break. So I'm about a foot farther than when I started, but I still want to get another, another foot at least to where I can ride out of here. Right now she's just right on the edge, so. There we go. Huh, I'm fighting against myself here. When I got it pulling, the because I've got it tied off on the handlebars, the handlebars aren't straight. So at this point, I reset my pulley system from the handlebars down to the front tire, thinking that I would like front wheel drive it, and. I'm looking around for something because my hands are getting a little sore. So I grabbed this rotten stick off the ground. It's pretty thick, you know, like a baseball bat handle. And I wrap it up on the rope. Okay, a thin green branch should be better than a thick, old, rotten one. You saw me tumbling down the hill. <laughs> so,
All right, neutral. That a girl. Okay, I've reset. Woo! We're slipping slide down the hill on the route. That's why we can't get any traction on the bike. So I've reset, I put the tie downs on the bottoms of the forks instead of on the tire this time. Putting the tie downs on the wheel worked well, but only for a few inches or so. So then I removed them down to the bottom of the fork so the wheel would always roll. I decided I need to keep that front tire constantly free. Okay, bikes. bike's in neutral. Speed things up a bit so you can watch me struggle in fast forward. That was good. Let's do more of that. Okay, almost there. One more route. We can do it. All right, baby. One obstacle down. Who needs a gym membership? We done. Now it's cleanup time. <laughs> 